Happy Friday! So wrapping up this week, exploring the findings from the Indeed Workplace Happiness 2021 report. Some very interesting findings and it just adds to the need for employers to be absolutely serious about being an employer of choice, to retain your talent and attract it. According to Microsoft, 40% of the global workforce are on the move this year because they can. They can work from anywhere in many circumstances. They are constrained by geographic location, so they're in the driving seat. And they've said in this report, what makes them happy at work? And pay is not the top of the list. It's way, way down. I showed this graph a few times this week. Pay is down here. They want to feel energised. They want to have a sense of belonging and they want a sense of purpose. That is the third in the list. So organisations have to come to a, a realisation that pay and flexibility are a given. They're the base of the pyramid. Then we have to look at the elevated needs that people want. So I'm going to wrap up with a sense of purpose. So how do we give people a sense of purpose in the workplace to make them happy? Well, you need to go no further than, you know, Simon Sinek in his 2009 book, Start With Why. And I've talked about the power, power of why many changes in my role as an organisational change manager. And I sincerely believe that when you communicate the why, you can mitigate resistance to change because people understand the imperative. We often tell them how we're going to do it and what we're going to do and not why. And Simon Sinek says, when the organisation knows its why, what is its purpose, then everyone else has a sense of purpose as well in the organisation. So it communicates um, the value proposition of the organisation. So start with why. We're not making computers, that's what we do. Why? Are we doing it? And some great organisations like the Apples of the world have knocked this right on the head. And the second one is job crafting. Google that. Um, a couple of researchers, uh, Jane Dutton and Amy Verizonuskew, I don't know if I've said that right, so I apologise if I haven't, did some research quite a while back about how you can adjust your job to find more sense of purpose. And they talk, called it job crafting. And they talk about you can craft the task. How can you change what it is you do, how you do it, and the balance of what you do? Um, there's a lot more to it than that, obviously. Uh, the relationships, craft the relationships, who you work with and alongside as you're doing your job. And the third one is cognitive crafting, what I would call reframing. So how you think about your job. So they use the example of hospital cleaners who don't see their job as cleaning because as they're cleaning they're talking to patients and visitors and family. So they see their job as part of the healing process. That's their contribution, that's their purpose. Cleaning is a, a byproduct. So have a look at the Indeed report. Read my article that's up on LinkedIn and on karenferris.com that wraps all this up nicely. I'll talk to you next week. Have a good one.